When using a tube holder assembly, hold the assembled device between your thumb and the tips of your first three fingers. This allows ample room to manipulate the tubes in and out of the holder. Do not grasp the assembly in the palm of your hands as your fingers will obstruct your ability to visualize the draw, tube exchange, and the angle of entry. Retighten the tourniquet and position the patient's arm in a downward angle if possible so that the tubes fill from bottom to top and remove the needle sheath. With the thumb of your free hand, pull downward from below the intended puncture site to anchor the vein and tighten the skin. Do not anchor the vein from above as shown here. This puts your index finger ahead of the needle and in harm's way should the patient jump upon needle insertion. Insert the needle with the bevel up at a 30 degree angle or less until you perceive to be in the center of the vein. Release the skin and advance the tube without displacing the needle. To maintain needle placement, Apply the tube gently by placing one or two fingers on the flared wings of the tube holder and your thumb on the back of the tube. Squeeze your thumb and fingers together, advancing the tube so that its stopper is pierced by the interior needle. Squeezing your thumb and fingers together like this counteracts the pushing pressure and keeps the needle from going through the other side of the vein and deeper into the arm. Allow the first tube to fill. If possible, release the tourniquet upon venous access to minimize the effects of hemoconcentration. When the first tube is full, remove it by grasping it between the thumb and middle finger and pushing against the tube holder with the index finger. Placing your index finger here prevents the needle from being pulled out of the vein while removing the filled tube from the tube holder. Apply the remaining tubes in the prescribed order of draw. Remove and invert each tube with an additive five to ten times after filling to provide proper mixing with the blood. When all tubes have been filled, have the patient open his fist, release the tourniquet if it has not already been released, and place a clean gauze pad over the insertion site. Remove the needle and apply pressure. If the safety feature is not triggered passively, activate it immediately. Discard the collection device according to OSHA guidelines and your facility's policy. Avoid using cotton balls to apply pressure as it is against CLSI recommendations. The cotton fibers may become embedded into the fibrin that forms over the wound while pressure is applied and upon removal, reopen the puncture.